cast your mind back to 2012 because that's when Stefan El Shirawi was one of the hottest prospects in world football. And in today's video, we're going to be reminiscing on his time previously at AC Milan and just looking back on how much of a prospect he actually was during those days. If you do go and enjoy today's video, guys, make sure to leave a like. And the other players that you'd like to see me checking out on the channel, do leave them in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this one and see just how good El Sharari used to be back in the day. Honestly, I remember around this time as well, you know, I was properly into football and looking into foreign leagues, he was such a flamboyant player, you know, his play style, the skill moves and everything like that. He had everything about him. And it's a shame in the end, obviously, that he couldn't quite live up to what he was built at at the time at AC Milan because the world was at his fingertips. Unbelievable in those like those little tight spaces, then a little flick he'll do or something like that. Dribbling fantastic. And the fact he was number 92 as well just added to that sort of iconic factor, I think. Tell you what, he had a right strike on him as well, didn't he? Some of those curling efforts from outside the box. The little touches and flicks. Oh. Oh. Because it was only his second season with AC Milan that he had his best season with. 16 goals in the league third top scorer in the Serie A as a teenager and when you looked at his all round game as well on top of those goals and assists you could see why there was so much interest from everyone ah oh, and at the near post Just cutting inside from that left hand side, drifting into those positions and causing absolute havoc. And his second season as well, you know, it looked like Milan were fully on the up at this time, finished third in the Serie A. And then after that is when the injury set, Milan themselves just crumbled away. Several mid table finishes after that. And after those injuries had set in in that third season for him, he was just never able to sort of recapture that spark that he once had. And it just makes you think with players like this, how different it actually could have been. Oh, oh look at that. When you've got this sort of raw ability that he had as a teenager, dazzling through defences. <laughs> what added to that iconic factor as well was his silver card on FIFA. You know, he was an absolute gem of the time on that game. And everything like that just adds to what an iconic profile, especially when you are such a hot prospect as a teenager. Peels off well. He could go on either foot as well, comfortable on the left or right. Why he was happy to play on sort of either flank as well. <sighs> and when he got into that groove, especially the first half of that second season for him, he was absolutely electric. I think he'd scored about 14 goals in the first half of that season. I 
And it does just make you wonder what would have happened with him. Had those injuries not set in, had he made that move in the end to a Manchester United or Real Madrid around about that time when he was being linked with those clubs, what could have gone on to happen? Because from Italy's perspective as well, oh my god, what a finish. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. But like I was saying, from Italy's perspective, could you imagine the sort of player they thought they had on their hands at this time as well? Oh, just an absolute master of those bending efforts. Leaves the goalkeeper with no chance with those sorts of things. And then he's got that ability to go ahead and slow you down and speed it up, whip it off either foot. I think a lot of people's favourite players growing up as well are those dynamic, tricky wingers. You know, everyone wants to be them when you're playing football yourself. And El Shuari just had that showmanship, that flamboyancy about him, which just made him absolutely brilliant in his early days. The haircut as well, the mohawk, how could we forget an iconic look? Just doesn't need a lot of space to get his shots away and things like that. And they'd fly away on a counter attack, speed it up, slow it down. Poking finish into the far post. Him and Balotelli in the same team as well. Oh. It does bring back memories. I know it's not the PKC Milan that a lot of people were accustomed to around the mid 2000s, but they still had some gems around this time. Oh, the outside of the foot finishes. There we have it though guys, that will wrap it up for today's reaction. Love to get your opinions on Stefan El Chirari back in the day. How good did you think he was going to go on to become? And any other hot prospect from years gone by that you'd like to see me checking out on the channel, do leave them in the comments down below. Apart from that though guys, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.